Hello there, I'm Dennis Brenwald from the Star Wars Battlefront 2 team. I'm here to walk you through the Battle of Geonosis update. Together, brothers. In addition to the brand new location of Geonosis, the update will introduce Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, the 212th Attack Battalion, the ATTE, the Staff, and the Bark Speeder. Target that speed up! And with the update, we're also giving you the opportunity to unlock another appearance for General Grievous. Here we go. Obi-Wan Kenobi is a master of defensive combat and usage of the Force. His stamina and near-perfect defense are joined by powerful chained melee attacks. Using his ability Defensive Rush, Obi-Wan is able to deflect blasters with flawless accuracy, damaging enemies in front of him. The restrictive mind trick reflects Obi-Wan's specialty of controlling an enemy's mind silencing their abilities for a short time. Use it wisely to outsmart the competition. Offensively, Obi-Wan can use the Force to make a powerful and focused all-out push. There is no death, there is the Force. We're giving additional control to the player to affect the range of this ability. Starting a game of Galactic Assault and Geonosis, the Galactic Republic clash with the Separatists throughout a rugged canyon. The combat eventually funnels out to wide open battlefront, with Republic carriers deploying ATTEs, a fully player controllable beast of a machine on the ground. If the Separatist hard cells are destroyed, wild dust storms will hit the fields and pave the way for a final push. Throughout the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi commanded the 212th Attack Battalion, now coming to the game as appearances for the Galactic Republic. Let's have some fun! <laughs> General Grievous's commitment to the obliteration of his enemies, whatever the cost, is displayed in his terrifying shattered armor appearance, also coming with this update. I will stop you! <laughs> and that's all for now. See you on the battlefront. Clone Wars have begun at last. <laughs>